Well, we're going to be uh, look talking about something a little bit different, a mission to touch the sun. NASA's Parker Solar Probe has just finished up its first year of studying the sun from closer than ever before, and the results are pretty hot. Today we're joined by NASA scientist Nikki Vile, who's going to tell us more about it. But first, I should give her a shout out, as we said in our lead-in. She's originally from Kent. Good to see you. Good to see your That's right. I'm from Kent, Washington. Time. Well, it makes sense being from the Northwest. You might have been drawn to studying the sun, but you didn't see much of it growing up, probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? <laughs> That's right. Weather-wise, I want to ask you, so the probe has come the closest to the sun of any man-made object. And how close is it now? And how close is it going to get over the course of its mission? Well, already Parker Solar Probe has gone closer than the orbit of Mercury, so that's pretty close. At its closest approach, it gets about 4 million miles away from the surface of the sun, which is about 4% of the distance between the sun and the Earth, so incredibly close to the sun, and we're really touching the atmosphere of the sun. So, I mean, it's, it's, how hot is it there, and how does it survive that heat? So the solar corona, the atmosphere of the sun, is millions of degrees hot, which is actually really surprising because the photosphere, the visible surface of the sun, is only 6,000 degrees. That's one of the questions Parker Solar Probe is trying to answer. Uh, the heat shield is what actually protects Parker Solar Probe. It's not actually the heat from the solar atmosphere, it's the radiation, it's the sun's light that we have to protect the instruments from. So the heat shield is four inches thick, made of carbon foam, and it keeps those instruments at about room temperature. That's, that's pretty amazing. Well, it's giving us a lot of new information about the solar wind, which spreads out and surrounds the Earth. Why is that important to us living on the surface of the Earth? So Earth's atmosphere and Earth's magnetic field protect us from the gas and magnetized uh, material that comes off the sun all the time and fills the solar system. But the big explosions on the sun uh, coronal mass ejections and solar flares can interfere with our power grids, with our GPS, with our ionosphere. Uh, as I said, we're protected here on Earth, but astronauts, of course, uh, and our spacecraft are outside of the Earth's atmosphere and magnetic field and are not protected. Wow, that's pretty interesting. And just one last real quick question. How could this affect human spaceflight in the future, though, on those long missions? Yeah, so Parker Solar Probe is already measuring some of these energetic bursts of these magnetic explosions so that we could really understand how these energetic particles, these pieces of atoms that fly off at faster than the speed of light, how that uh, energization happens so that we can predict them better for protecting our astronauts in the future. Oh, pretty interesting stuff. Well, thank you very much for joining us this morning, and uh, hopefully some of your relatives here seeing you on King 5. Have a good afternoon. <laughs> Thanks.